मोस्ट कॉमन कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ मम्स इज ओरकाइटिस पेनक्रेटाइटिस यूवाइटिस एंड कंजक्टिवाइटिस सो इफ यू सी द मम्स मम्स बेसिकली इज अ सेल्फ लिमिटिंग नाउ इट इज इट इज सेल्फ लिमिटिंग डिजीज एंड इट इज कोस्ड बाय वायरस राइट सो इट्स अ वायरल डिजीज राइट एंड द वायरस व्हिच इज इन्वॉल्व इज द पैरामिक्सो वायरस पैरामिक्सो वायरस इज द वायरस दैट इज इन्वॉल्व इन द मम्स राइट so basically this particular disease is also known as the epidemic parotitis epidemic parotitis and as we have already discussed uh, before the development of the vaccine and introduction of the vaccine it was a common childhood disease world wide it is still a significant threat to health in the uh, third world we can say the developing countries but yes Uh, you can uh, easily control it because it is a self limiting disease and it's not going to pose a lot of harms right so if we just see the clinical feature of this particular disease so the more common symptoms of mumps are first is the parotid inflammation parotid inflammation in almost 75% of the cases it involves the parotid gland but yes it can involve the sub mandibular as well as the sublingual gland in almost Rest of the twenty-five percent uh, cases, right? Now, parotitis causes the swelling and local pain, particularly when chewing. Uh, when patient patient is chewing or the child is chewing, then this swelling and local pain occurs, and uh, it is generally uh, unilateral, but it can occur on both the side. Okay, so that's not uh, something that we can find out, but yes, that can found uh, occur on both the sides. So basically, it is going to have pain on chewing specifically, right? Then the patient, due to the infection, there will be fever, there can be headache, there can be pancreatitis, and that is basically the inflammation of the affected pancreas. And yes, it can have orchitis commonly so this orchitis is basically inflammation of the testicle this is the testicular inflammation and that is also very common right now we can have a mnemonic to just uh, understand this particular uh, the mumps okay clearly understand the things that are asked in the mumps actually so m here is the mumps complication u now you have to consider this u as u okay o like that and you can find out orchitis and oophoritis in this m is the meningitis p is the parotitis and it can also lead to pancreatitis and s here stands for the self limiting disease or self limiting nature so yes uh, if we just want to go through the explanation so mumps which is also known as epidemic parotitis most common systemic viral infection affecting the salivary gland in and it can be caused by the paramyxo virus right occasionally submandibular or sublingual lingual glands may also be involved but in almost 75% of cases you are going to have the parotid glands and most commonly they are bilateral but yes unilateral can also be there right so this disease is self limiting and it is not a danger right and other complication which can be there like meningitis can be there 10% and encephalitis can be there then orchitis testicular atrophy and sterility in 20% of young men can be there so in this question uh, orchitis is the given thing that is there so this is most common and it is more common than the pancreatitis as well right parotitis is more common than the orchitis as well so if i just make a order so then you have uh, here the parotitis then there will be orchitis and then there will be pancreatitis and other diseases right so this we have to remember and yes orchitis is going to be the correct answer here right so answer is option 1